Amplify, Geology on Mars, Lesson 1.3, Investigating a Mystery Object on Mars. So from the Lesson Brief page, where students can access, you can access all the materials you would need in the lesson uh, if you want to go directly to them. But we begin at the warm-up, part of our uh, entry activity. Uh, you're reading about Claire in a puddle, so the information is there on the card and the screen, and you're going to propose your ideas in the two text boxes and be sure to hand that in. Once that's complete, uh, I, the teacher, take over and introduce you to uh, the idea of scientific argument. Very different from an argument uh, between your friends or at home where you are verbally fighting over stuff. Scientific arguments are structured approaches to problem solving. We begin with a question and then propose a claim, which is the proposed possible answer to the question. And then we gather evidence and collect the evidence which either supports uh, or doesn't support the claim. And it's our reasoning, our brain power, our connecting evidence to the claim uh, where the thinking and discussion becomes so important. Uh, you are then introduced to uh, the jelly donut, and I'll project that in a minute. Uh, but at the tables, you've got cards that include the question and two claims, and then some evidence cards. And so after we've taken a look, I'm hopping over to the projections, uh, at this image here, uh, we notice that there on the left is no object on the surface besides the background rocks. And then in the second image on the right, uh, Saul 3540, so 12 days later, uh, there's this object in the same area of the photograph that wasn't there before, and we have to try to figure out what that is. And so they take us through uh, giving us two claims. Okay. Uh, and you must choose either that the rock uh, was moved to that spot from another location or it's a fungus that grew in that spot. And again, the evidence cards uh, available to you, and I've got them available online for you as well, and they're also on the classroom wall, ask you to you know, structure them whether they support claim one or claim two or neither of the claims and we will discuss some of your choices in class. Um, the first round, in the first attempt, you get cards labeled A through G. There are seven cards. Uh, once you've arranged those, you're going to come to me and get a second set of cards, H through K, which have additional information. Because one of the important things in science is we're always being updated with new information. And then we'll add those other cards uh, to either claim one and claim two and see what conclusions we come up with. Uh, that is part of um, transitioning into the reflection. And the reflection piece here is going back to uh, the channel on Mars. Okay? That image that, I'll pull it up again from the projections, that we saw yesterday, going through the same process that you went with the jelly donut object, what do you think is happening here on Mars? Again, encouraging you to go back if you need to to Lesson 1.2, where you gathered some of the evidence there in step four. Uh, once that's done, uh, you move on to step four, where in this lesson, other than the warm-up, this is the only place where you're entering in uh, information. Okay? You are examining again the water and lava landforms and how they change the surface. You are including evidence and making uh, a choice on your claim and then you're handing that in when you're finished. And that concludes 1.3.